Well, I really like that uh, transition period we were able to have where you can go 12 hours, eight hours on the court. I really think that was important from a skill development sense. But now that we can add some time to that week and, and time to our day, uh, I think it's a, just a whole different level of excitement. You can see it in the players' eyes. You can tell by the bounce in their step. Uh, they know that now this is real. And for the next 30 practices, that's going to get us ready for November 25th. I think that's been the, um, the, what we've had to struggle with is adding all the new people, five newcomers, uh, Matty Wash, who sat out last year as a red shirt. Um, so that's been the, the battle, just trying to get those guys blended in and, and everybody finding a new role. You know, we, we lost some key players to graduation, and now you've got to replace those guys. And some of the, of the returning guys have a chance to move up, but all the new guys have an opportunity, too, to take things to a different level. Well, I can remember at times last year when we had 13 on the roster that sometimes we didn't have 10 to practice. So uh, I think in, in this day and age when you have to fight injuries as much as we do that, um, you know, it's good to have a, a full roster. Now, when they're all healthy, that creates its own uh, problems because there aren't as many spots for people. But, but again, it's just treading through um, the returners, the newcomers, trying to figure out who's going to compliment who. And, and sometimes you don't really know that about people until the lights come on and it's actual game time.